What's up guys? So I just saw Twisters and guess what? I really enjoyed it. So one thing about this movie is it was one of those sequels that nobody really thought should have been made. Nobody really thought they were going to go through and actually make it. Um, so on Letterboxd I have a list of like um, movies I didn't think would ever come out and they were all movies that hadn't been released yet and this was on that list. I made this list a couple years ago. Um, but it's here. I think it should make a lot of money because it is a really fun film and Glenn Powell is just amazing. Like who doesn't love Glenn Powell? Okay, let's get into some of the good about this movie. Um, I had a blast with this film. It's just really fun. It has dramatic moments when it needs to be dramatic and it's just a really fun film. One thing about this film is the VFX are absolutely amazing. Uh, so much better than the first film. That first film's VFX are absolutely abysmal, and it like really holds the first film down for me. Um, another thing is it has a great story. That is another thing that I thought was lacking from the first film was a great story and some of, some of the character motives um, I wasn't crazy about in the first movie. But I think all the motives of the characters are well played out. I liked how the main girl, Kate, had PTSD from that first uh, P5 tornado that hit. I won't give too many details away about that because it would really spoil the movie for you. Kind of. It happens at like the first five minutes of the movie. So I guess it's spoilers. So I won't say anything about it. Um, and <laughs> the actors in this were absolutely amazing. I mean, it's Glenn Powell. He is a gem. We all love Glenn Powell. And then Daisy Edgar Jones. I've actually never seen her in a movie before. So it was really nice to see her, and she was really good. Uh, John Ramos, I think that's his name. Or is it Anthony Ramos? Alexa, who's Anthony Ramos? Anthony Ramos is a singer and actor from the USA. Yeah, that's it. Um, I really liked Anthony Ramos. He was really good. Oh my gosh, Alexa's still talking. Alexa, stop. Thank you, Alexa. I really liked Anthony Ramos. He was really good in this. Um, if you haven't seen him before, he's in Hamilton and he's in In the Heights. He's basically Lin-Manuel Miranda Jr. I really like the guy that yells a lot. We got twins! Twins! Yeah! yeah, that guy. So yeah, overall the acting in this movie was really good. Oh, David Cornsweet's in this movie. This is the first, I think that's how you say his name. This is the first movie I've really seen him in uh, before the upcoming Superman movie, which is coming out next year. Um, a little shameless plug in there. Not promoted. Um, so yeah, that's really, um, all the acting was great in this movie. It's a high quality movie, uh, big blockbuster. So obviously you'll probably get pretty good acting from most of these type of movies. Unless, yeah, it's just not very good. Um, but this movie is very good. The acting is very good. Um, and then lastly, I really want to talk about this, is that it's not really a sequel. Um, I might have touched on this at the beginning, but a lot of people, or this movie is technically classified as a sequel to the original movie Twister, but it is not a sequel at all. There's one reference uh, with the use of Dorothy, um, that is a device used in the original movie. It's Dorothy was used in the original movie, and it is used at the very beginning of this movie. It's not used for long. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little nod to the original. But besides that, besides tornadoes, there is no connection to the original movie at all. And being set in Oklahoma. But, like, come on. That's not really... That's not enough. But, yeah, so that's really the only connections to the original movie. Um, so, yeah, this movie's not really a sequel. It's almost a reboot, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't have the same plot as the original. Um, they're solving a whole different thing in this. They're not trying to figure out Dorothy. They're trying to figure out this whole new device. With, it's, kind of div it's kind of a device. Um, but, yeah, so it's not really a reboot. It's not really a sequel. It's kind of just a movie. And it's a good movie, too. Um, me, personally, I liked it more than the original. Yep, I'll come out and say it. I really don't like the original that much. Well, I do. It's just not amazing. I gave it like a three and a half stars. It's not great. Or it's good. It's serviceable. It is what it is. Um, the VFX in that movie are awful. But this is not a Twister review, is it? 
So let's keep talking about twisters. So here are some of the bad things in twisters. I didn't like some of the camera shots, especially one of the ones like um, that they used through like the YouTube channel, uh, Glenn Powell, the, his character. He has a, he runs a YouTube channel. Um, and they use some of the shots from that and it doesn't look great. It looks very low quality. The audio is very low quality. I wish they didn't do that. But it is what it is. I wish they showed it like on YouTube because it didn't really look like a YouTube format at all. Which is just a little snobby thing to say of me. But um, it didn't look like YouTube at all. Um, and yeah, I didn't really like that they used YouTube in this. I think that's really going to date this movie when I go back and watch it. Five years from now, ten years from now, I don't know, YouTube might still be around. It's been around for almost 20 years. Are we almost at 20 years of YouTube? Yeah. I think we might be at 20 years of YouTube. I don't know. Um, I think Me at the Zoo was posted. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, so I think that's really going to date the movie. Um, and then lastly, I felt like uh, Anthony Ramos's character, that side plot about the whole scandal that was going on there i thought that was very underdeveloped um part of it might have been because i walked out of the theater uh to go refill my drink during part of that um but i just felt like that plot line was very underdeveloped if you've seen the movie you probably know what i'm talking about i don't know if you agree with me or not comment down below actually if you agree with me or not on that but thus twister was a great film um very little bad things to say about this movie. There's just enough errors to knock it down a little bit for me. Um, and then, it's not the greatest film of all time, so I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a really good movie. You should go watch it. It's in theaters right now if you're watching in probably July or August of 2024. It's probably still in theaters. But if you're watching Further Ahead in the Future, it's probably not in theaters anymore. Just go rent it. Um, I hate saying that. I hate saying go rent something. I don't know. It's really good. Just go see it. Um, whatever way you want. Last thing I want to talk about is... No this song is absolutely amazing. Luke Combs was on something while he was doing this song. It is so good. Um, I have recently become a Luke Combs fan. Um, Where the Wild Things Are, Doing This, um, When It Rains It Pours. They're just all great songs. It's Luke Combs, guys. Uh, of course, he released a banger for this soundtrack. And overall, the soundtrack of this movie is great. Like, it perfectly fits the scenes. And it's not like, oh, basic country music, here we are, basic country music. No, it's just good country music. Um, so yeah, Twisters, great film. Go see it. Good night.